True and Donnie. We're ready to begin with New Mexico. We have student athletes Donovan Dent, True Washington, Coach Richard Pertino. Coach, if we can start with you, get some thoughts on tonight's game. Um, yeah, loved our loved our energy, loved our toughness, plus 20 on the glass. Um, loved the way that we shared the ball, 21 assists. I just thought overall um, it was about as complete a performance as we've had in a while. Um, I know it's the largest margin of victory uh, in the history for us in the Mountain West Tournament, which was great. Um, so all around really good 40-minute effort, and uh, it was good to be able to play some guys going to the bench a little bit because obviously we're trying to do what every other team is trying to do here and, and, and win three more. I know it's going to be hard, but uh, it was great to be able to get this win tonight. Thank you, Coach. Let's take questions for the student athletes first, and then we'll come back to Coach. Braden Nurse with the Mountain West. Guys, just how much did the, the Air Force game a couple weeks ago weigh on your mind going into this one, and how did it feel to get your kid back? I mean, a couple weeks ago, they kind of hurt us a lot. We didn't come in prepared. We, were, we kind of took them for granted, and this, this game we kind of came in ready, ready, prepared to do what we got to do. Just like he said, uh, we take the first game for granted. This game we came in, we got after it. And obviously the competition will get a little tougher, but when you look at the way you're able to dominate in basically every facet of the game tonight, just what does that do for your confidence going forward? I think it just builds momentum for us going to a strong game against Boise tomorrow. We know what we got to do. We got to be physical. We didn't win anyone, any of them against in the regular season, so we know what we got to do to figure it out. Good, right here. Jeff Grammer at the Albuquerque Journal. Uh, for either one of you guys, the, the Boise State matchup tomorrow, obviously, is the, the big one for you guys in a lot of ways. Not only did they sweep you guys, you guys probably need another good quality win to, to feel a little more comfortable about NCAA tournament. What needs to change in the Boise State matchup? Uh, we just got to be more physical. They, out, they kind of bullied us the first two games of the season. We know what we got to do. We got to rebound, play hard, and just play together. Oh, after this game, I feel like we finally clicking. So going into the game, we're going to have a better bond going into it. So we should get this win. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> Anything else for our athletes? Uh, hey, guys. Um, Julian Potters, KOAT Sports. Uh, based on this last matchup that you had had with Air Force and just being able to make those types of differences, I mean, what do you think you'll be able to bring in from this game into the next game with Boise State? Us? Uh, just our confidence, man. You know, this first game, we're just trying to get the rhythm, go into the next game and just get the win. I think this builds great momentum for us. Great first win. Getting day two, feel great. Go ahead. This is for you, True. Um, you haven't had a lot of games recently in the in the back half of the season, maybe the last month or so, um, where you, you scored 14. You had some of those in non-conference. I'm curious, when you got out there today, what what was the difference, and and what gives you the the mindset just to be aggressive in uh, in your role, like you were in the second half tonight? Just, just get on the court and play hard at all times. Even if it's going my way or not going my way, just go in there and just compete. Uh, another question for you, True. Uh, obviously, another great game today. Uh, you've had the opportunity under this for this year to learn under some great guards, like the guy next to you, like Jalen House, Jamal Mashburn Jr. Uh, what are some of the things that? you think helped you uh, kind of have this great game today from what you've learned from that? I would say it started at practice, you know, competing against them. They're making me better as much as I'm making them better. Just just having confidence going into this game, honestly. <laughs> okay, we'll dismiss the student athletes at this time. We'll keep coach for a few more minutes. You guys can go if you want. Thank you, man. <laughs> Questions for Coach Patino. Jeff Sibieta, the Sports Animal in Albuquerque. Coach, back here. I, I, the way you dominated the boards was, was impressive, but they only had four offensive rebounds. I thought the second chances, A, that you didn't allow them, and the ones that you got set the tone. You were able to get out and run. They didn't get set second chances. The offensive rebounds, I thought, was pretty good. Your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, they switch everything, so they're going to have guards on bigs around the rim. Um, and you got to take advantage of it. You know, I mean, we had the size advantage. Uh, our guys were battling their butts off on the glass. JT was terrific. Um, and then it allows us to get out on the break, you know, I mean, if we rebound the ball. So, like you said, I mean, we guarded them, and, and 
they missed 30 shots, and we only allowed them to get four offensive rebounds, which was great. So um, physically a very, very um, good performance by our guys. Coach, Redis Petritus had 16 points and six rebounds at the half tonight. Just what did you try to do differently in the second half to try to limit what he does? I mean, he had 26 points and 10 rebounds, so I don't know if we did anything well on him. Um, he's really good, and he's really good at finishing around the rim. Uh, we had like four or five and ones um, that we got to be better at. But, you know, he, he's, he's one of the better players in the league, and he just finds a way to not take bad shots to get to the rim. Uh, so a lot of that, we, I thought we made him earn it, but a lot of it was him just being really good. And obviously getting a lot of production on both ends of the floor from basically anyone on any, any given night is something that has helped you throughout this season. But how, how does that help in a tournament setting, especially today and going into the rest of the tournament? Well, it was good to be able to rest some guys. I mean, Mash obviously is coming off of an illness, so uh, he was winded. We were getting him in and out. Uh, Jalen played really, really well, but then we were up, and I just wanted to keep him out. And Donovan was playing pretty well offensively. He was trying to get him that 10th assist just to see if he could do it. But um, it was good to be able to not wear them down too much uh, and still find a way to win the game. Right here. A couple of the specialty stats that seem to have kind of coincided with your success and your struggles this year, points off turnovers and, and points in the paint. Um, you guys, 50 points in the paint, and you guys got back to, what is it, 20, uh, 20 to 9 advantage in points off turnovers. Those are the two things that, that seem to bring you guys a lot of success. Uh, did you, was there something that you guys did going into this game that, to kind of focus on those two in particular? Well, we wanted to disrupt. I think if you let Air Force run their offense and you let them be comfortable, they can pick you apart. Uh, they've done it um, to us, obviously, in the past. So we were really, really aggressive trying to turn them over. And then we knew we, whenever we've been good versus Air Force, we've had to go inside um, because, like I said, they're going to switch everything and they're, they're going to be physical with you. And we wanted to go inside. We wanted to get to the free throw line. Um, you know, so credit to our guys to be able to go in there or throw it in there. JT in particular um, inside, eight, what did he shoot, 8 of 12, and uh, hit a three too, but um, you know, double double for JT and and his ability to to kind of do that on on a big stage again. I know this is the first round, but it is a, a tournament that he's never been in. Yeah, just uh, remarkably consistent, remarkably productive, um, and to do it, missing three or four shots. Not a high high volume guy by any means. Uh, so he's had a great year, you know. And I told our guys, I said, it's been a really good year. Can we go make it a great year this week? And uh, tonight was. Right step in the right direction. All right, and last one, I promise. Um, Boise State is is the matchup. They they swept you guys, big and physical on the last one. You you kind of said you guys got bullied a little bit. I'm curious what you do to to combat a bully and what you can do. Um, they're they're the same size as they were when you played them both times in the regular season. What can you do to combat what they do? Just be more tough, be more physical. Um, you know, provide more resistance. Uh, you know, do a better job on Stanley and Degenhardt. They were too comfortable last game. Uh, got to keep Buzo off the glass. He hurt us. You know, so everybody's got to be ready. You know, it's, it's, we've put ourselves in a position um, to go do something special. You know, and uh, 23 wins is great. And we got we to gotta get some rest, lock in, and see if we can go get one tomorrow because Boise is a terrific team. Um, they're tough, and we've got to be tougher. Let's go back here. JTS, KTVB, um, just kind of along those same lines, Richard, uh, you guys clearly have a competitive bunch. How, how eager are you to get another shot at Boise State? Well, I'm eager to get some rest. You know, I mean, I, I'm happy that we played great tonight. Um, we'll go back, we'll watch some film, and um, we'll go play with amazing energy and spirit. You know, I mean, we've got uh, some of the best fans in the world that love to turn this into Pitt West. Hopefully they can do that. And uh, see if we, we've got a high level of respect for Boise. Um, well coached, tough culture, have had a level of consistency that we're trying to build over time. And um, we've, got to, we've got to give them our best shot because they're really good. Uh, one more, and that's just if you, you look at the way this game went tonight, Donovan Dent plays you know, a, a tick over 30 minutes. He kept everybody else uh, you know, well under what they, they averaged. Did, did that go about as ideal as you would have wanted it to in those regards? Yeah, I, I think so. And, um, you know, being able to get to the bench a little bit was great. And hopefully we'll have uh, fresh legs tomorrow. You know, I mean, you never know going into these games. You don't prepare for it. You just want to play great basketball. So uh, we did that. And it was good to be able to sub some guys out and get them some rest. Good time for one more question. Back here. Uh, Lee Faria, KOB TV, Albuquerque. 
Coach, you got up to a great start. How did that help fuel the way you want to play and the way you want to disrupt? Yeah, I thought um, we were ready to go. You know, like our guys said, I mean, we were really, really disappointed in the last one that we lost at our place. That one really, really stung. And um, to our guys' credit, they bounced back. They played unbelievably hard. Uh, they looked themselves in the mirror and said, we didn't bring it that game. Coaching staff looked themselves in the mirror and said, we didn't bring it that game and did a much better job tonight. Okay, thank you for your time, Coach. Thank you.